I am extremely concerned when I hear the familiar drumbeats in Washington, the bellicose rhetoric that gets amplified before every war, demanding that we must show strength, demanding that we must get tough, demanding that we must not engage in appeasement. A simplistic refusal to recognize the complex roots of the tensions in the region undermines the ability of negotiators to reach a peaceful resolution. My colleagues, as we have painfully learned, wars have unintended consequences. They rarely turn out the way the planners and experts tell us they will. Just ask the officials who provided rosy scenarios for the wars in Vietnam, Afghanistan, and Iraq, only to be proven horribly wrong. There are estimates, however, that come from our own military and intelligent community that there could be over 50,000 civilian casualties in Ukraine, not to mention millions of refugees flooding neighboring countries as they flee what could be the worst European conflict since World War II. That is why we must do everything possible to find a diplomatic resolution to prevent what would be an enormously destructive war in Ukraine. My colleagues, we must never forget the horrors that a war in the region would cause and must do everything possible to achieve a realistic and mutually agreeable resolution. That approach is not weakness. It is not appeasement. Bringing people together to resolve conflicts without war is strength, and it is the right thing to do.